With Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 for PC right around the corner, I thought it'd be a good time to talk about some mods I'd like to see from the modding community. Now there's already a small modding community that I've found on the Marvel vs. Capcom 3 subreddit, and they've talked about doing one skin, but here are some other ones that I'd like to kind of see in the game. I didn't rank them as far as the one I want the most, the one I want the least. It's just alphabetical order, and not all of these have just one. Not all of them have any at all. I couldn't think of some for some of them. But let's jump right in. First one is the one skin for Akuma that I'd like. It's Ashura from Ashura's Wrath. I think it would kind of fit him. I only played the demo for Ashura, so not 100% sure, but it would look cool either way. Next is for... Uh, Amasutra, I think is how you pronounce it, the, the dog. Uh, I'd just like to see a poodle, I think that'd be pretty funny. You know, just like a real dog, and especially something as silly as a poodle, I think that'd be kind of fun. Just, some of these are silly ones. For Arthur, there's already a DLC costume where he's a skeleton, but I would like to see that more. You know, I, I want him to be a skeleton, and then like a goblin, and then maybe like a vampire king. Because, you know, he has the three different levels. I, I think making him a monster would be pretty fun. Next for Captain America, he already has a lot of really good skins. The only one that I think would be cool is the Hydra skin. There's a lot of, like, fan art of him as, like, a Hydra Captain America. And I think that'd be pretty fun. For Chris, why not Leon? Why not? For Chun-Li, I had a hard time coming up with one. But I think her Street Fighter V outfit, where she's like a cop, I think that'd be kind of cool. That's a cool looking skin. For Crimson Viper, I again couldn't really think of anything. I was just thinking of how she's a mom, and then I thought, why not the mom from Dexter's Lab? <laughs> Alright, for Dante, this might not be a popular opinion, but the DMC Dante, like, that, that should be a mod skin. Come on now. Also, uh, a shirtless Dante. Give us a shirtless Dante. That'd be fun. For Deadpool, why not Deathstroke? I, I know their personalities don't really fit, but... It's just a skin. Also, Deadpool would be pretty cool. The, like, gangster version of Deadpool, that'd be kind of fun. And then we, we skip a good amount and go right to Felicia. Couldn't think of some for some of these guys. For Felicia, it's another silly one. Chest of the Cheetah. Why not? It ain't easy being cheesy. Alright, for Firebrand, uh, I couldn't really think of anything. I thought maybe an eagle would be cool. You know, making him like a bald eagle, like in America. You know, something like that might be cool. For Frank West, we already have his Mega Man costume from the Dead Rising game. Why not make him a serve bot? Or I guess you can make him also like Chuck or any of the other Dead Rising characters. But I think serve bot would be pretty cool. Alright, for Ghost Rider, just give me the really cool like cowboy Ghost Rider. That one's so cool. And instead of like the chain whip, he could have a real whip. I think that'd be pretty fun, right? Uh, for Hagar, just give us Zangief. Why not? For Hawkeye, we already have Ronin, which is pretty cool. But I think if we had the old man Logan version of Hawkeye, that'd be really fun. For Hinsinko, the girl with the giant claws, she'll be on screen. Uh, I thought Lady Deathstrike might work. It's really weird because she has that odd body type. It was hard to pick something for her. But I thought like with the long claws, maybe a Lady Death Strike would work. It would definitely take a really like smart, out of the box thinker modder to do it, but it could work. All right, for Hulk, I got I got some for Hulk. First off, this is probably the one I want the most. Second most is Dad Red Hulk. That's what I've dubbed him. He'll be right here on screen. It's the newest version of Red Hulk in the comics, I believe. I love the mustache. I love the sunglasses. He just looks like a dad. I, I want that. I want that so bad. Also, Spider Hulk, Deadpool Hulk, or Hulk Pool, whatever you call it, and then any other forms of superheroes as Hulks. Because that, that will just be fun. It will be cool looking. Oh, also Donkey Kong. Why not? Alright, Iron Fist. Couldn't really think of anything. A lot of... He has a lot of his cooler costumes already in-game. So I just thought maybe make him Bruce Lee. That might work. Iron Man. Just give me a war machine. That's all I want. All I want is a war machine. Jill Valentine? Give her her SARS uniform. Chris has it. Wesker has it. Give it to Jill. Alright, for MODOK, there's already two amazing skins for him in the game. His lipstick skin, which is the one I always use. And then the Elvis skin. 
I thought we'd go the Elvis route, make another really silly one. And instead of the regular casing or whatever you call it, make it a toilet. I think that'd be really fun. Alright, Magneto. This is probably the one I have the most for. And I'm going to start off with his original DLC costume. That's the one the modern community is already trying to put in. They're already working on it, even though the game's not out yet. Uh, I'm really hoping that we get that one, like, right away. Because, I mean, it's base game. We need it. Also, Onslaught. That'd be really cool. And Ian McKellen, I think is how you say his name. The actor that plays Magneto in, like, the original X-Men films. That would be awesome. He's cool. He's baller. And then also give us the first class Magneto costume. That'd be really cool. And then also Rise of the Imperfects Magneto. I think that'd be really fun. It's a cool costume. Magneto's just baller. I just want more Magneto costumes. Alright, for Morgan. Let's get this out of the way naked. Everybody probably wants her naked. Why not put it on the list? I also think uh, Lilith is a good addition. There's already a skin kind of like showcasing her it's like her colors and everything but i feel like her body type and you know with her hair being so different i think it's worth getting modded in also palutena i i don't know how i've never played dark stalkers so i don't know how well palutena would fit in there but i think it would be a cool mod for nemesis i didn't think i was going to be able to come up with like one skin i got a few all right first off frankenstein's monster it, it, come on, it, it's perfect. Also, Franken Castle, which is Frank Castle, aka the Punisher, as Frankenstein. I kind of had to put them both on. It, they both would be awesome. And then also Brigade. If you have not played Marvel's Rise of the Imperfects, you you might not know who this character is. Basically, he is a hundred U.S. soldiers merged into one being. He's pretty cool. He's he kind of has a nemesis kind of vibe a little bit, but uh, I think it would just be cool to get some Rise of the Imperfects uh, representation in the game. All right, Nova. Th he has a lot of cool stuff that I was debating on, but they weren't different enough. Like there were other people from the Nova Corps, but their outfits were just so similar that I didn't really think it was worth it. So instead I just put Human Torch. I, I think Human Torch would be pretty cool. They have similar enough powers that I think it would work in the game. And we don't have that much Fantastic Four rep. Alright, Phoenix Wright. We gotta have Hobo Wright. Uh, everybody who plays Phoenix, everybody who likes Phoenix, everybody wants Hobo Phoenix Wright. So I hope that gets modded in right away. That'd be really fun. And then also all the other lawyers that his other skins reference. I think that'd be really fun. You know, just get more variety when you're playing Phoenix. Because Phoenix is really cool. And I think it'd be cool to get more representation from his games. Alright, for Rocket Raccoon, this was another one I thought maybe I'd get like one or two. I got a handful. First off, the one from the movie, you know, Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Let's get that skin. A normal raccoon, just a regular ass raccoon. I think that'd be fun. Howard the Duck. Uh, I don't know how well that one would fit, but we can try it. I want Howard in the game. That'd be fun. Uh, Jail Rocket from the movie. It's another scene where he's just, it's basically he's just wearing like a yellow jumpsuit. It's cool. And also Rigby from Regular Show. I think that'd be fun, right? All right, now we go to Ryu. Ryu, I could have had a ton for. I just went with a few. Let's let's go Dan. Let's go Ken. And then Hot Ryu, as it's been dubbed from Street Fighter V. And also the Red Bull Ryu. I think those would be really fun. I think they're pretty varied. And I mean, we already have the Ken color swap. Give us Ken as a whole model. That'd be, that'd be cool. Alright, Sentinel. This one was kind of hard. Uh, I'm sure I could have found some more, like, giant robot guys, but what I went with was Ultraman. Maybe we could get, like, Voltron, uh, any of the Megazords from Power Rangers, things like that. You know, that style of thing is what I was going for there. But uh, the main one I wrote down was Ultraman. Alright, for She-Hulk, I'm pretty sure it's not in the game, but I would like her Fantastic Four outfit. I couldn't really find anything else for She-Hulk. <laughs> All right, Suma Garoth. Uh, I, I call him hentai because he's a little hentai monster. I would like one where he like has a rainbow flash to him, kind of like when Mario gets the superstar, but like not as seizure inducing. You know, pretty slow fade through like a rainbow gradient. I think that'd be cool. Also, a skeleton one. I don't know how well that would work, but instead of like his noodly arms, it's just his skeleton. 
that might screw up with hitboxes and stuff, I don't know. One where he's pure electricity, I think that'd be kind of fun. Kind of like uh, this character from War of the Monsters. Uh, I know they don't have a similar body shape, but that, that, that'll give you an idea of what I'm talking about. And then a symbiote. I feel like he could work for that, right? Alright, for Spencer. I think uh, this version of original Spencer, I believe that is. Uh, he j just has a mustache. Mustaches are cool, especially the dad mustache, I like that. And Winter Soldier, why not? Alright, Spider-Man. Spider-Man's gonna have a ton. Spider-Man has a lot of great outfits. I'm actually just gonna, I have my list here. So I'm just gonna, actually gonna read it off because it's quite a bit. Spider-Man Noir. It's a cool, like, 50s mobster kind of Spider-Man. Really cool. Uh, ever since I've seen the original design, I, I've loved that Spider-Man. That's the one I'd want the most for Spider-Man. And also Spider-Man 2099. It's a really cool costume. Iron Spider's a really cool costume. Actual Spider Spider-Man is what I wrote down, but the one where he, like, he mutates into a spider... Obviously, you don't give him the extra arms. Well, I guess you could. But, you know, that'd be pretty cool. Mutant Spider. Spider-Pig. Fan favorite. He's pretty cool. Or Spider-Ham, I believe it's called. Armored Spider. That's a cool costume. And last but not least, Bombastic Big Man. Get some more Fantastic Four rep. Come on. All right, for Strider, this one's real simple, just Greninja. I think that'd be pretty cool. They kind of got, like, the same flow as a ninja, you know? For Super Scroll... More Fantastic Four rep. Just give him a Fantastic Four outfit. I think that'd be really cool. Taskmaster. I got Skeletor from He-Man. Crossbones. And Deathstroke. I know I had Deathstroke for Deadpool, but... I feel like Deathstroke could work for both of them. I, th I think it'd be pretty cool. And for Thor, we got Beta Ray Bill. Kind of like an alien horse guy. I was sad that it wasn't his DLC costume. Uh, I want the movie Thor. I think that'd be cool. Mid-90s Thor is just awesome. Lord Thor and also Future King Thor. Those ones are kind of similar. I put them both on the list because one has an eye patch, one doesn't. But they're both really cool. All right, for Trish, I don't know a lot about Devil May Cry, especially Trish. But I, I thought uh, Bayonetta kind of fits her play style at least. And also Josh's mom. <laughs> Alright, for Tron, uh, Comic Vine version, I, I don't know if that's the official name, when I was looking it up on Google Images, that's all I could see was Comic Vine, regardless of this version, uh, I think she looks pretty cool, and it's the most varied, different costume I could see for her. Alright, Virgil, I want the DMC version, the creepy white DMC version, uh, this one. And also Raiden from Metal Gear Solid. I think all of those would fit. Obviously, two of them are other versions of Virgil, so they'll fit. But I think Raiden would also fit really well. For Beautiful Joe, Captain Blue, uh, this version. Again, I don't know a lot about Beautiful Joe, but when I was looking it up, I saw a lot of different versions of Captain Blue, but I'm talking about this one. And then also Joe's like girlfriend. You know, she has a, a Joe mode. Why not do that? That'd be cool. All right, for Wesker. We got Agent Smith from The Matrix. Street clothes, like, just give them, I mean, jeans, uh, m maybe a little t-shirt, whatever. I think that'd be kind of fun. And then also just regular-ass Wesker, except give them, like, 3D glasses. Just for a little silly one. I, th I think that'd be a good warm-up, too, for modders. Just little a little basic skin swap. All right, for Wolverine, we got Old Man Logan. Old Man Logan's awesome. Uh, his regular Logan clothes, you know, where he's just kind of street clothes again. Biker clothes, where he's got his jacket and everything. Hugh Jackman. Everybody likes Hugh Jackman. And then also Sabretooth, I think would be pretty cool. And then X-23. A Wolverine costume like she has in the comics. And then also Dakin. Two, I would like two versions of Dakin, though. Like, one where he's not wearing the costume, and then one where he is. And then for Zero, last but not least, Zero, Bastion Proto-Man. I mean, we already have X. Why not get more Mega Man characters? All right, that's my list of characters I'd like to see modded into Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 for PC. In the comments, tell me what you'd like to see. Thanks for watching.